Hey Corkies, welcome back to CorkandJava.com. Have you ever wanted to make boozy ice cream at home? Maybe even coffee ice cream with your favorite coffees? Um, maybe you don't even have a ice cream maker or any expensive equipment? Well, the folks at Hijinx have hooked us up with some uh, samples so we could try making some awesome boozy and coffee flavored ice cream at home with just a blender. And so that's what we did. So we're gonna be sharing how we did it and testing out the, which one are we testing out? Frozen Irish coffee. Frozen Irish coffee. It's got espresso in it and it's got some alcohol. So yeah, we're gonna be trying it out. Obviously she cannot indulge in much of this, but she's gonna give it just a little taste. Mm -hmm. So stay tuned. Yeah. everybody, welcome to CorkandJava.com, where your go-to place for coffee and wine reviews and how-tos. On this channel, we like to expand and enrich your experience with all your favorite beverages. Make sure you guys hit subscribe and hit that little bell so you're notified when all our future videos come out. Awesome. Like we said, the guys at Hijinx has hooked us up with some free samples. Uh, we're not getting paid or endorsed to do this or anything like that. So this will be a very honest review of how this product works. And here's a quick sample of kind of what it looks like after it's frozen solid. This is the Irish, boozy Irish coffee. Frozen Irish Frozen, frozen Irish <laughs> coffee. So let's take them step by Ooh, step. I uh, smell the mm. Baileys and coffee flavor. Yeah. So it's, it's actually a really simple process. And like we said, you don't really need any ice or ice cream making equipment. Um, there's a lot of science that went into this product that make it so you can just make it all in the blender. And what's really cool is you can really experiment and go really nuts with different flavors. Mm -hmm. So we went with one that's off the website that fits our, our theme for our channel. And make sure you guys, like we said, subscribe because we're gonna be featuring a different one next week a mulled wine. So if this one sounds good, you're definitely gonna wanna stay tuned. Yeah, if tuned. you're here for the coffee, um, you'll enjoy this one. But if you're here for the wine, Woo. then you'll wanna see, wow, uh, you'll wanna see next week's review. So just off the um, the website here, um, it's just a this pack is what we did. Yep. of the uh, hijinks mix. And I think it makes a pint. Um, I would say, all, yeah, about a pint. When it's all said and done. Um, so here are the ingredients. Uh, the ice cream mix, heavy cream, whole milk, uh, Billy brewed fresh espresso, um, but this here has just a cup of coffee or coffee concentrate. I recommend definitely making But yeah, fresh, fresh is going to make it taste, mm. that, give it that nice coffee taste. Yeah. Uh, Bailey's and whiskey, so you can use whatever yeah. We used, you uh, have. Evan Williams yep. whiskey and of course Bailey's. And then it has an optional um, coffee grounds that you can put into it as yeah. well. Okay, so um, like we said, there's a lot of variations that you can do. You can cater it to your specific taste. This is just the one that appealed to us on their website that we thought would be perfect for you know sharing with you guys. Um, so all we did was warm the milk and the heavy cream um, together for like 45 seconds in yep. the microwave. Um, and then we added that into the blender with the um, packet of the hijinks mix and we put the um, Baileys and whiskey in and blended it all together um, and then we put it in the Container the, the Tupperware. You just let it sit on the counter for 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. Apparently that's a very important step so the crystals or something like that. Absorbed. So the gums, uh, <laughs> the magic happens yeah. <laughs> and then, uh, and then yeah. you freeze, then you freeze it. Um, yeah. and then it says that you can freeze for three to six hours and then, um, see, uh, how, you know, let it sit out for a few minutes to let it soften up too. Yeah. Well, I'm dying to try this. It's been sitting out for about 30 minutes now. It's already starting to get melty and soft. So, and this does have alcohol that is not being like cooked out of it. So if you are 
pregnant or if you, you know, abstain beware. from alcohol, be aware that this does have the whiskey and the Baileys in. It's not, it's not a lot. But... No, it's, yeah, it's just a few ounces, but it, it is in there. So. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. This is amazing. And this is supposed to, we um, wanted to do the like richer, creamy version. So. Yeah, we, we added a lot of heavy whipping cream. And um, so I've made similar like blended ice creams at home that just didn't have the right texture. It was almost like too fluffy, airy. This is like real ice cream texture. Yeah, this isn't icy either. Yeah, it's not, it's not like, like uh, what's that, freezer burn? This is really freaking good. <laughs> And like I said, we're not being paid by them. They yeah. did send us free samples, but that doesn't mean anything. I'll give them a harsh review and then email them saying, uh, sure you want me to upload this? <laughs> but this is really good. I I'm definitely it. endorsing. I'll leave a link down, down below where if you're interested in trying this and picking it up, you can try it and definitely check out their website to see like, there's an infinite amount of flavor things and you can even do like, prank ice cream with this. You can yeah. go like really gross stuff and just to see how it does. They have a lot of really cool ideas on their website. <laughs> we came up with a bunch of ones that we would, you know, make ourselves um, as well too, but we saw a bunch of really good sounding recipes on the website. I get um, a little bit of burn from the, the whiskey on there. <laughs> I know you can't drink much of this. But... <clears throat> It's good. It is really good. Mm. And I, like, I'm an ice cream connoisseur. This is my thing. I love ice cream. This, like, would be gone in a flash <laughs> in our house. Like, I would eat this all in, like, one sitting if I was able to. <laughs> so. Well, all one sitting? You're getting an entire uh, two to three ounces of espresso. Yeah, mm. that's true. Might be a little wired tonight. <laughs> and... I don't, do you remember how much uh, Baileys and whiskey we put in this? I think there was two ounces of Baileys and an ounce of whiskey. All right, so that's, that's a decent amount too. Mm -hmm. I guess if you're drinking or eating the whole pint. Yeah. Anyway, that's gonna do it wrapping up this uh, hijinks. Frozen Irish Frozen coffee. Irish coffee ice cream. You know, this is a, beverage channel, but anytime that we can cross over into food and beverage combinations like this. Especially ice cream. Especially ice cream. You know, we're all about it. <laughs> and this would be really fun to do. Like Billy and I did this together last night. This would be really fun for like a date night at home or Valentine's oh, yeah. Day coming up or something or just trying something new. I mean, this is really easy. All you need is a blender and some <laughs> yeah. cups to microwave things in the, you know, or on the stove. Yeah. If stuff. you've made it this far in the video, make sure you you guys hit thumbs up. It yeah. just uh, gives uh, the YouTube algorithm some love and puts our face in front of more people and just really helps out the channel. And like we said, make sure you hit subscribe because we're gonna do a mold wine ice cream next week. So stay tuned for that, guys. Until next time, bottoms up. up.